what's going on guys it is green and today we are going to be doing another after effects tutorial um, this one is going to be on the color change camo effect uh, basically it's where i get the color of the camo to change sporadically um there's gonna be two different ways the first way is what i'm going to show you in this little video and that's basically how you can like get it to change in sync with the song and then there's another way that it's just kind of like slowly breathe between different colors this is the first example of how it's like changing with the pulse of the song so yeah that's basically it um what we're gonna be doing now is taking this clip so this is basically the same clip i just showed you except i don't you can see i don't have the color change thing in and we are going to show you guys the uh, two ways of doing it so basically i did it where was it, it was this frame to like this frame. I do it between these three sync points. Basically what I'm gonna do is just make a cut. You press Control Shift D to cut a clip in After Effects. So like you have this selected, you just Control Shift D right there, Control Shift D right there, and we have this clip. Now we're gonna select this clip and right click and click pre-compose. Click move all attributes to a new composition. It'll This will be default. You just wanna click this and click okay. Now we're just going to trim this back down to size so it fits in. We don't really like it. We don't actually have to do this, but it'll just make the composition look more neat and organized afterwards. And then we are going to double click this and open it up and go to where our clip is. So we, you'll see we just have this part of the clip here. Now basically the first thing we're going to do is make a little, make a little control alt Y and make a little um, adjustment layer. So now we're going to scroll in here a little bit and add change to color this effect. You can just close it. It's a default effect. Change to color and then just drag it onto our adjustment layer. Now we have it here. We're going to click this little sampler thing and just sample the camo somewhere somewhere in the middle of the line. You can see most of it uh, turned to red. There's still some green parts. So basically what we're going to do is just turn up the hue until the entire gun is covered red. Now, if we zoom out, you'll see there's a couple things. You can turn it off and turn it on. You'll see there's a couple other things that um, are turning red. One of them is here, this little logo, this little bar down here, and um, also on the mini map. That's, that's most of the stuff. There's no other shit like down here. But uh, basically, there's a really easy way to fix this. We're just gonna click our, uh, what's this? The masking tool or pen tool. And then we're just gonna make a little mask of the gun. Now the gun isn't completely uniform, so what we're going to have to do is go to the beginning of the video, or we'll, we'll just make keyframes. So press M, and press the little stopwatch beside mask path, and then just go through your thing and make sure that the gun is constantly being coupled. Make sure you're on the right tool. Make sure the gun is constantly being covered by the mask. So right here, you can see, I'll zoom in a little bit. And just, just move the keyframes around throughout the video so that the camo is constantly being covered. Let's see, it's not covered right there, so let's drag this one out. Move it, just kind of go frame by frame, or you can go a couple frames at a time. Just make sure it's constantly covered. So now, go down to the end. And yeah, so it's covered the entire time basically, um, which means that the only color distortion you'll see when you turn this off and on is the camo so we're like this does make it red and technically like i said it's changing the color but um what we're gonna want to do is click on two and we're gonna set this color to whatever we want our thing to start out being so right now let's make it pink we'll click okay we go back to here and now you can see our camo is pink so you could just do that it'll just go pink for all these frames but what we're actually going to do is make it so it changes every single frame that's the first way we're going to do it anyway. So we're going to make some cuts here. So we have three different cuts. First one's pink. Second one, I will make it darker blue. And the third one, we can make it to teal. And basically, that's it. Like, that's all we've done now. We can go back here and I'll just, just ram preview this little section. And you can see it's exactly like it was in the video. The only difference is there was a color correction, but like just like I showed you at the beginning of the video. And 
and it just changes color with the beat. But there's another way to do it that I think looks a little nicer. So we're gonna do that. So we're just gonna control Z till we have, okay, so now we just have the thing. It's still masked out and everything, but we're gonna start it off with pink. So we're just gonna put a keyframe here and then we're gonna press U and it'll bring up this little color bar here at the bottom. Um, so the way we can change the color is just go a little bit forward, um, click on the little color thing and then change it to make like a darker purple almost. And move forward again, about the same amount and change it to a darker blue. Then we'll go ahead again We'll change it to like this teal blue color. Go even further. And we'll change it to like a greener version of that color. Actually, we can go further. We'll make it like a lime green. And then that's basically, we can just go to here, go right to the end and change it basically back to the color that it originally was. So now you can see it'll just kind of like slowly change and go right back to where it was. You can do this with whatever colors you want. Like I typically choose to uh, just go down this wheel because I think that looks kind of nice the way the spectrum just kind of goes. But you can do however you want. You can make it red and then orange and then blue and then purple if you want. It, it doesn't really matter. You can do whatever you want. Um, yeah. So what I'm going to do right now is basically show you what that whole thing looks like. I'm going to render it out and I'll put it in the video. Um, but yeah, if you guys like this video, um, I know it's kind of short. How long was it exactly? Like seven minutes, that's a lot shorter than most of my tutorials, but it's still kind of a long video. Um, so yeah, if you guys want me to do more of these tutorials, but like with other specific stuff, you can let me know. Um, I'll probably go with whatever the most thumbs up thumbs up comment is. So uh, go down in the comment section, leave a comment on what you want to see next. And if you have like a, a idea or you see someone that you you want to see what like what they said, just lo leave a like on their comment, and I will go with whatever is most thumbs up. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I'll let you guys watch the little breathing effect, the second way right now, and then yeah, go down, comment what you want, leave a like on the video if you guys like these because it's, um, yeah, more likes means I'm more more likely to make them. So yeah. It's been good, you guys. I'll see you guys later. Enjoy the little thing at the end here. Okay, peace out.